Hi everyone, this is Aradian and this is a phase plant tutorial on the MIDI modulators. There are three of them. One's called pressure, one's velocity, and one's called note. Um, you'll probably know that one is key tracking or um, note tracking, whatever. It just, what, what it does is it assigns a value to a, a parameter based on note. So if I play a really high note, I have a really basic patch set up right now, but if I play a really high note, and, and if you take a look at the note, it'll be decently high up, but then if I play in a lower note, it'll be lower down. It doesn't seem to cover very much, like range. I don't know how to say it. The, the range isn't that great, but it is useful, and what I've done in this patch is I've assigned it to the high pass so if you look at the high pass while I play different notes it follows the fundamental so there's no weird noise below the fundamental which is useful when you're mixing because you don't have to worry about that stuff so that's probably one of the things I use this modulator for the most Next one is velocity, and I've got my MIDI keyboard in right now. So if I play different velocities, what what I've assigned this velocity mapping to is the bit crush. So if I play softly, it's going to be very crushed. If I play it loud, it's going to be less crushed. So just taking a look at the different velocities and how they react to bit crushing. Um, Alright, so pressure. This one, you're probably not going to be seeing as often. This one, you might know as aftertouch. So what pressure does is it tracks how hard you press the key down after you've pressed it. Um, my keyboard doesn't have it, so I can't really explain it, but it's pretty simple. And unless you've got a MIDI keyboard with this sort of feature, um, you probably won't be using that much uh, it's lesser used basically is what I'm saying and those are the MIDI modulators